So I went and I was in my grocer's refrigerator. And I walked by and I was kind of, you know, going down the aisle. And I came upon this and it's Harpoon Winter Warmer. And it just struck me, you know. It's December 9th. It was cold out. I was feeling chilly. And I picked it up. Looked at the cap for the cap collectors. Traditional Harpoon H. It's got the 4-H triangle. Farm animals. Guy wanting to kill whales. Yeah. Anyway, let's read. Well, I must say... I can tell I've had a few. It's not for the Brewed since 1988, the flavor of cinnamon and nutmeg in Harpoon Winter Warmer makes this full-bodied rich ale a classic holiday treat. Enjoy. And I must say that that must be one of the shortest descriptions I've ever read of a beer that happens to have a description. And I must say this lack of artistic literary prose slapped on this bottle must rival that it has bacon collar that it isn't even put on here correctly that it, that it's falling apart I had a beer here before and I swear to god I'd not mess with it it this is an unadulterated uh, label here and and it's just coming off I mean that's just you know presentation come on you know that's like already off the bat I'm wondering you know when I was in the grocer's freezer and this was, you know, nestled into the, you know, six-pack carton, I didn't notice. But now I do. And it disturbed me. But anyway, I always like winter beers, so it may be very hard for me to be displeased. And I got my Guinness glass, which is distracting. And let me tell you, because the label was falling off as such, I decided to not turn on all my lights because, really, I, I, I almost felt like, you know, this is like you want to have sex with a chick in the dark. <laughs> but anyway, let's go. You know what I'm saying, guy? You know what I'm saying, buddy? All right. Ugh. There we go. We got a little bit coming out, a little bit of the condensation. Now let's see what kind of pour I'm gonna do. We'll get it. We'll get it. Ooh. Oh, it's gonna spill. It's gonna spill. No, it's not. No, it's not. And I'm good. So I did an aggressive pour. It's not perfect, but most of it's out of the glass, so. If you want to nitpick me about it, go ahead. But anyway, the first thing that you're going to notice, other than the copper color, it's almost like an Irish red. It's like an Irish red type color. Uh, it has some big carbonation bubbles in it, but not too bad. Uh, the head sustainability is okay. Uh, not too bad. I don't know if I'm going to do the old float the head in there because as I found I was pouring out more <laughs> lights the other night the way I do and the caps would still float on the head so maybe the novelty for that is worn off but this looks like a Irish red and you're really going to smell the cinnamon in here let me get you inside it let me get you inside it and let's turn on the music. We got some Beck Lost Calls. But I mean, the cinnamon really comes out of you. When I smell this, the cinnamon is just... It's almost like I can understand why they named it Winter Warmer because it almost reminds me of like one of my favorite winter shots in the winter. You know, in the dead of winter, snowy, northeast nights, wind blowing. Can't, you know, that milky haze upon the sky. Snow clinging to the trees. I really, what I love to drink is
Sorry, I was really into the music. What I really like to drink is uh, Goldschlager. And that's what almost this reminds me of because it, it has such like a cinnamon, like overpoweringness to it. Anyway, I'm gonna take a sip. It almost smells like one of these um, pumpkin beers that I was trying earlier. Um, not that I could have identified the pumpkin beer originally when I tried it, but now that uh, I, I have tried a few of them, um, I know what it is and I know what it smells like, but anyway. <sighs> Woo. Yeah, big time cinnamon flavor. Um, the, the, the winter warmer is warming me up. Uh, it just really hits you almost like an atomic fireball, but not, you know, I'm being a little dramatic, but I'm trying to describe that the cinnamon in here is just ridiculous. Yeah, it's really in there, brother. It's really in there. And this is from the Harpoon Man. Now this has a Bev Alk of 5.9. Uh, Harpoon is located out of, I think, uh, Portsmouth. Let me see here. I have the website up. Oh, it's Portsmouth. Where the, where the hell are you from? I don't know where they're from. I think they're from Boston, Massachusetts. Boston, Massachusetts, Winter, Vermont. That's what it says on the label. And this is Harpoon Winter Warmer. It's almost like a Sam Adams Winter uh, Ale, but it has a lot more of a cinnamon spice to it. Um, it really just lays it down on you. It's just like atomic fireball. You know, this is what I taste like. You either love me or you hate me, and... I mean, it's not that bad. Um, it's hard for me to, I guess, to really, really hate a beer. But, uh... It's definitely not the best beer I've had, definitely not the best winter lager I've had, or winter lager, winter ale I've had. But, uh, I don't know, I mean, I don't know what I want to say, really. It's just kind of like an in-your-face, ultra-spiced beer, and... You either take it or leave it. I think that's really what they're saying. They're making a statement with it, and it it definitely lives up to its name, Winter Warmer, because I'm I'm hitting this beer, I'm taking tugs down on it, and you know it, it warms up my face. It, it it I can feel it in my chest. I can feel it right through the center of me, and I guess that's probably attributable to the. <laughs> that's a word. It, it's probably you know because of the cinnamon that's in it and the nutmeg and I mean it just it's no joke I mean it doesn't fook around but looks like an Irish red maintains the head a little bit cinnamon aroma cinnamon feel gotta say watered down Goldschlager in a can minus the gold flakes. That's what it is. Prost, baby. Prost. <laughs>